Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. And we've got a couple comments to go through, as well as read about the sovereign authority in the Holy Land. So, the French ambassador has arrived with the following demand. They wish the Ottoman government to recognize them as the sovereign authority over the Holy Land and Palestine. Turn the control over all Christian sites to the French. The Treaty of KK, signed with Russia in 1774, states that they are the sole protector of Eastern Christians, and we should agree to the French demands of... And should we agree to the French demands, it will almost surely lead to conflict with the Russians. So we can lose prestige and agree to the French demands, or Russia protects the Holy Land, not France. So, uh, this gives us more prestige, and I'll gladly take more prestige, and the Russian Empire gets some prestige as well. The French won't like this, and the French escalation. The French are not willing to abandon the claims to the Holy Land. There have been several demonstrations of naval force along our coast, and these have been combined with offers of protection against Russian retaliation. If we agree, we... Ha we have a friend in France, but almost certainly war with Russians. If they refuse, we're likely to have a war with France on our hands. Which do we prefer? Must give it to the French. Never let them come if they dare. No, so they can go to war with us. Now, the Italians went to war with the... Or actually, the French went to war with the Italians for Savoy. And I decided to uh, say no, but you know what? Maybe we can get them back in, even though they have a score of four. Uh, they are mobilized the second in the world. We are currently what? 112? We, oh, the Germans are at war with the, ah, oh, the British. Portuguese con colonial conquest of T Timor. Given to the French. Well, technically, the Russians, they're fourth in the world. Do I want an alliance with the French? Honestly, not really. Come if they dare. But would that guarantee that the Russians ally me? No, they hate us. You know what? We could probably do this. It would hurt our prestige a little bit, but... Let's see what happens. Well, I got a lot of alliances. Obviously, we're going to have to break some of our alliances. We're going to lose some prestige. But at the same time, we can go to war with Qatar, so... And we still can do end self, end Moldavian self-rule. But we got too much infamy right now. Our war, I'm not doing any war justification right now, just because I want to get these guys under us as fast as possible, so... And they're allied with Oman. I'm not too worried about that, though. So... Let's get through one more month. Lower some more autonomy. And I guess Russia technically gets to get to cast his belly upon us. Hopefully they don't use that. I really hope they don't. I don't want another war. The last war we had was so gosh darn di disruptive to our economy and way of life. Regardless, one of the comments was like we should go to like Qing China and like get a treaty port. I'd like to, but our army isn't that great. So our navy is really not good. We could build more ships, but I just really want to focus on the Ottoman Empire. I don't really want to get to China. That's cool and all, but... And also, this is a giant mess around here. I do want to get Jambi, too. That looks really great to get all that population. And maybe eventually some good goods, resources, stuff like that. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we're this. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this area, too. We have no money, too, because I've been building a lot of roads. Like, I've been building roads out the booty. So, lots of roads are going to be built. Someday. We need a lot of cement, and we need a lot of lumber. Uh, we have, we're doing biologism. Uh, I, I think I showed you guys yesterday, but I did get to... We got mechanical production as well, so there's that. All right, it's a new month. New year. Happy 1868, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. So just go to war. Hopefully no one else gets involved. For the love of God, please no one else get involved. And let's see. Reforms. We're still an absolute monarchy. Suffrage. Uh, child labor. Uh, excuse me. Child labor is great because how else... Our children are supposed to afford to pay for potential uh, bills if they can't get a job. That's not very fair to the children, though, is it? No. I love child labor. Well, maybe maybe if the kids lose a couple fingers here and there, but you know, you know whatever, whatever. Things happen. Things happen. Uh, let's see. There's other comments I can't remember, but I'm sure once we fade and fade out, I will go ahead and like, look. I always look at the comments between each section. Sometimes there's comments, sometimes there's not. Cholera. The defining symptoms of cholera is an exhausted diarrhea, rendering the disease almost completely incapable of retaining fluid. In severe forms, the disease can, disease can cause death within a few, few days of the symptoms, making it one of the most rapidly fatal illnesses known to man. Today we received a dispatch from one of our provinces confirming early reports that the disease has broken out there. Quarantine it. There's nothing else we can do. We have to quarantine it. How bad could it get? And the Confederate States still exist. I don't know how they still exist. Hello. Ah, now this is very French. Militant socialists. Very good. Actually, France is not looking very good at all. They're looking not bad. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're not bad at all. But, like, 
That's a lot of socialists, man. A lot of rebels. But they can put him down. Oh, even... I don't know. I kind of hope they win down there just because we might be able to get or snipe Algeria for, away from them. Uh, I, I, I'll be honest, I'd much rather have you guys as an ally and we do. And I don't want to call you into any war, but nice. Biologism, so we get even more research, basically more education stuff. We could do that. I think it's time we focus maybe a little bit more on other things as well. Oh, this could lead to the invention of... I need cement factories. we got to do this one. And this can give me cement factories. I mean... We need cement factories. It's already almost 1870. How do we not have cement factories? Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Still 7th in the world. And having a good time. That was one of the comments though from the last video that I didn't address because I recorded the video before I could read the comments. Was that... Actually, are we allied with the Brits? Maybe not. Oh, uh, trading privileges are questioned. I feel like we're about to go right ahead. Oh, exploitation. More liberal upper house. Uh, we can increase our... You know, colonial power and basically our military too. If we invest in more ships, we could, we could, but that costs more money. I mean, I'm not opposed to that, but our ships are just not good. So, and actually, once the next time we can actually do a reform. Twenty-six percent political reform, thirty-five percent. If you get ten percent more liberal upper house, that's not really going to do much for us. So we should get, we should open the colony up to free competition between any and all traders. More efficiency is just, I think, pretty good. And we're, we're making a lot more money, too, as well. So, which is very nice. Very, very nice. But, I, like you saw earlier, I had a stockpile of, like, 400,000 pounds. I blew it all on railroads. And even then, it wasn't enough money. So, I we just got to keep a, a nice stockpile of stuff. Of monies. Monies, 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 monies. Looking better. Almost done. I love Montenegro. It's a great place to be. Maybe it is. I have no idea. We were trying to build up a few more factories here as well, especially in Castamanu. Steel, ammunition, artillery, good, good, good stuff, so. Let's see, where do the capitals want to build? Capitals want to build? Why not? There, have some money. There you go. Good luck with that. Okay, you want some more money? Here, I'll just throw money at you then. There you go. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Man, I wish you'd stop demanding so much money. There you go. No, it should be, it should be enough. More investors? Good. Good, good, good. There we go. All right. Uh, it's, uh, Serbia. I don't know. Let's see what happens. And finish this up. And they'll probably go to war with another country in Southeast Asia. Expedition returns without success. Our national expedition to find the source of the Nile has returned without success, but they have a great hope that another expedition will succeed. It's only fifty thousand pounds, which, which is another reason why we should stockpile a bunch of money. Exactly another reason. We've been reforming our army as well. We've got another thirty thousand stack right here, and looking not too bad. And of course, last time Moldavia got a little bigger. I love Moldavia. I love the Germans, though. Oh, they're so good. So good. As long as they're allies to us. If they're not allies to us, then I don't like them. But that's just me. You come to Alexandria and time to build another army. Romanian Hussar. And we did annex Romania, so... So that gives quite a few more guys to work with. Alright, so there's that many guys. And then five things. One, two, three. I'm trying to save our Turkish core population and not use them in our military. Just because... I don't want them to die. <laughs> Ooh, Darwin is a nice, better education efficiency. Almost a quarter of our population can read. That is a quite the accomplishment, I'd say. I mean, it's eight, almost 1870. Yeah, I mean, other places probably already have at least 70%. Peru has an 1868 earthquake, so... Sucks to be in Peru. Freedom of trade, though. Nice. Thank goodness. Market structures. Any factories. Organized factories. This would be nice and all. Early classical theory. Ooh, we could... Yeah, I'm going to go for this one as well, just because we have a lot... We have some wood and what... Bosnia? No, Serbia. I think we got a lot of wood in Serbia, so that'd be very good for us, too. Oh, we can't... Oh, we can't integrate them anymore. Oh, my bad. So we can't integrate them anymore. Earlier on, if I play the Ottomans again someday, which I probably will, I'll probably, like, focus on annexing these guys first and making sure I don't get too much infamy. So now we can't really integrate them, which really, really sucks. Uh, actually, maybe not. Maybe, oh, maybe we can. Maybe we can. Yeah, we still can. Okay. What, does this expire ever? We have to be at peace. That's the only reason why it stopped, so... That's so much infamy. That's so much infamy. How can we recognize the uh, CSA? Huh. Okay. Interesting. We can always leave the Geneva Convention too, so. Alright. Let's see. And are they going to piece me out? Probably not. I probably... There they are. Nice. It's not worth much, but hey, I'll take Qatar any day. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That army's not looking good whatsoever. Holy cow. But regardless, I guess I'll see you in just a little bit after, once we go to war with... Jumpy. Alright everyone, and we are back currently at war with 
Jombi, but we got some more comms to go through right now. Uh, I've just beaten up their army, and I guess we're making more divisions. They're out of strength, so here we are. Uh, we got 101,000 pounds, but, and France not looking too good in Algeria, which is a good thing for us, and if the particular empire still exists. So, oh wow, that's not good. Anyways, uh, someone recommends that we go to war immediately, or as, oh look at that, as fast as we can with the Austro-Hungarians, which we should, so we can get back these cores from Moldavia, which would be great, and then annex them, because we still have 22.59 infamy, we're going to be working on that pretty much the entire time here, so, yeah. We'll go to war with these guys, get Moldavia, their cores back, and then annex them. Uh, so other people have recommended I take out Greece, take out Serbia, take out Hungary, take out probably Montenegro as well eventually, which I will. Take Oman, take Morocco. Just uh, just a lot of taking. Ethiopia has spawned as well. And also, off screen, we were... Like, we had an event, and they gave me, um, Fashoda. So... Not sure how or why, but you know what? I'll take it. I'm not going to complain about taking another piece of that territory. Good. And as you can tell, I'm already getting started with... Making more armies here, which would be a good, good thing. One, two, three, four, five. That get some trucks in there too. One, two, three, four. Hey, good enough. Good enough with me. So, uh, there's a couple comments saying that we should probably take out everyone pretty much who is who exists in Bosnia. Um, yeah, we're gonna make this land more Turkish. We'll put it like that, and a more friendly way. We'll make it more Turkish, if possible. Now, I'm not really too worried about the whole occup occupation things in Lampung. So, hey, sawmills. Actually, that's really good. I was kind of waiting for that, too. Uh, let's see. Serbia. Southern Serbia has a lot of wood. Get a sawmill, because we got plenty of wood here. Anywhere else we have wood? We'll look at the other stuff soon enough, like the National Spirits. Oh, we got some wood down here. We can't build, because that's a col colonial province. Um, we have quite a few Turks in the Macedonia region, so might as well, right? Get some more sawmills. More industry, because our industry isn't great. We're still something in the world for power status, but you know, it is what it is. 54%, not too worried about that. 75%, 79%. I'm trying to get these areas colonized eventually and make them into actual states just because we got to have as much colonial power when the 1880s hit, I believe, or even 1890s. So, I'm rushing towards getting more bureaucrats. Actually, do we have some Turks down here? We do! 1.3% Turks. Turkish, what is that? Druze? Mashriq? Shiite? Jewish? Sunni? Cool. Orthodox, too? Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, so many rebels. Now, Jacobins, are those the people that want the right to vote? I can't remember. Oh, I have you guys down here, too. Oh, that's fine. Uh, yep, we've got soldiers all over the place now, which is really, really great for us, so... I'm making a lot of money. Maybe I'll help these guys out. Oh, we can lower tariffs maybe a little more. I want to, I'm investing a lot in construction, obviously, so. Oh, you know what? We can lower money a little bit. Why not? 40% tariffs. Tax in the lower class. And definitely enforce Ottoman curricula. Over a quarter of our population can read. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Over a quarter in the Ottoman Empire can read. Very good. Oh, please don't get yourselves killed off. Rebellion against Ottoman rule. No, 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 no. Nonsense. Fake news. Literal fake news. Oh, and, oh, combatants, and it looks like we probably got this one too. So after this, as long as we're allied with the Germans still, we will go to war with the Austro-Hungarians. Oh, well, I guess we're no longer allied. Well, crap, maybe we won't go to war. Um, anybody else want an alliance? I guess we were allied with the UK too for a while. I'm not sure why they, everyone broke their alliance with us. No, does, does anyone want an alliance? No. Russia, we're buddies, right? Totally buddies. France? Or, uh, Japan. Um, wait, so why don't they accept? Oh, because we're at war, of course. But maybe they'll, they'll accept once we're out of a war? Yeah, probably. Current wars might soon. They'll accept once we are out of this war, so. I just wanted Jambi just because it was probably a relatively easy province to get to, so. Or just take over, really. Not bad. There we go. We're doing a great job, you guys. Go and help them out down there. Deny the Dutch some more provinces, which is good. Ooh, we're gonna need to make. Oh, that's not good. Wait. Oh, Bali. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh, that really sucks. Um. Well, once the war is over, we'll help them out. Yeah. We'll take them out. No worries. And I don't think we did any more reforms. There's really no more. Very few more opportunities for reforms. 
just get this done as quickly as possible. Hey! Cool! So, awesome. It's not too bad. Get some of that. Get some of that. And what can we do here? And Moldavian stuff. Oh, cool. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put down the rubbles. We're going to play a little bit more off screen. I guess the Portuguese wanted to help us out as well. Wow, that's not really good. Crossings and terrain. You know, those later attacks pretty good. But I'll see you guys when hopefully we can ally with the Germans, maybe? Yes. How about you guys? No. And actually, why not that? Too many great power allies, probably. So, regardless, I'll see you when we can probably go to war with the Austro Hungarians. Alright, everyone, and we're back. And I just noticed, well, we got some rebels down here, too, in North Africa. Regardless, we've just gone to war with Austria Hungary. I've called in Germany, I've called in Italy. I don't think Italy's going to respond because if we call them in, they won't accept. But as long as the Germans accept, well, we basically have it made. Also, it's pretty good for us to do so because we're seventh power in the world. They are right above us, so if we knock them out a little bit with their military score, their industry, that'd be pretty good for us. You know it's bad when even Japan has a greater industrial score than us. Hmm. And they say no, but Germany said yes. Hello. We're going to immediately move right on in. Because we can't wait for anybody or anything. And then maybe we'll go to Serbia after this. Even though I'm thinking, you know what, after this episode, I might just, just like, you know, spend a lot of time just waiting for Infamy to go down further and further and further. Because I really want to annex this. As someone said in the comments, I mean, we want to have nice borders, right? So, it's all about that border gore. Look at that, 99.9%, .9%, not bad. Over here with these guys. And we're still trying to get rid of the rebels down here. We got rid of the rebels over here, but... Things just take time. They just take time. Are they... Where are you moving to? Split? Split right there. Cool. You know what? Let him move in then. And you're heading to Bilak. Cool, not bad. The Germans hopefully are... Do they not have an army? I mean, I'm. we might take out these smaller little states. But really, we have to get rid of a lot of... Uh, this infamy, which is not very good. We should not, should not have signed the Geneva Convention, but, you know, it's all too late for that. It's alright, though. Split's next. Uh, oh, and they came in, too. That's not good. Whatever. Wow, they're sieging this place down fast. Holy cow. And we're still making some good money, too. So that's not too bad. And Russia decided to go to attack us as well. Gosh darn it. Oh, that's not gonna be good. Well... We could probably peace out with the Austrians and the... Not... Actually, well, the Austrians pretty quickly, actually. With the Russians, though, that's going to be a problem. But, you know what? As long as they're fighting Germany as well, that's okay. Peace these guys out pretty quickly. Go to kill off the Russians, which is going to be a little bit of a problem for us. Yeah, that's not going to be good. I just want these little cores. So, it shouldn't take that much score for us to get out of here. So, I'm actually going to call you guys down to... Up here, or up here. Not down here. Down... Up here. Russia, how many times do we need to teach you this lesson, old man? If I retreat... There you go. Oh, they actually might die here. They got 30,000 guys. Let, let them try to come over the river. It's Or the waterway. Yeah, they're going to lose. They're going to lose definitely for that one. That's good. They can try to see just down. Yeah, but you know what? It's not going to not gonna work. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of ships. Yeah, troop ships versus troop ships. Don't lose too many guys. Men are important. Sometimes. Hmm. Sometimes. Good. Oh, crap. That's not good. Defend, boys. Defend. <clears throat> Throw those guys in there. Good. And let's come back down here. Thank you. Take Bali. Oh, crap. They already have a guy over there. That's not good. Keeping you guys spare. Awesome. We lost actually fewer men than they did, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to keep you guys where you headed to. Senj, which is right there. You guys go, uh, go there and there. Smaller stack can go that way, maybe. Just going to hang out, have a good time, you know. Uh, come over there, kill those guys off. That'd be good. They're starting to mobilize. They annexed a whole lot of places. Holy cow. Russia, you're looking kind of thick. We don't like it, Russia. We really don't like them. Germany's still doing pretty well. Beehawk. They're moving straight into there. So be it. We gotta get them to engage us first, and then I'll throw in these 
24,000 soldiers. There you go. Go in. Uh, you should be able to do that pretty easily. Cool. Oh! Nice! There you go! We got it! That was really fast! Now we can focus on the Russians. You pieces of garbage. Russia's fun and all, but I don't like Russia when they attack us for no reason. Literally no reason at all. I mean, they... Oh! Oh, they're going back to... Oh, Algeria popped out, huh? That's cool. We want status quo. Russia wants to cut... Why do they want to cut us down to size? They want to really ruin us and get us out of great power status? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, well, look at Algeria. They actually came out here. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that looks looks a little better now, not gonna lie. I gotta play as Romania someday. I did check the comments off screen as well. And some people said, restore, it was more with Spain, like restore Islamic rule. Not necessarily saying that we need to own Spain, but restore Islamic rule there, maybe, I don't know. Spain's not high on my list right now to take out since I wanna finish off this part of the Arabian Peninsula, get to Ethiopia, get more of Africa. So we'll see, we shall definitely see. Intervene eventually in Sudan. Good. Ah, uh, Russia. I mean, we could get good kid to status quo. I would love to throw in another war goal against the Russians, but they're just going to get their butts whooped by the Germans. I mean, that's just... Even I can do that, but, you know, whatever. Whenever you guys come to Nikolaev, you guys head on up there. And you guys head on Olyov. Olyopol. Um, wait, what's going on? We're not attacking. I'm not attacking them. They're what? What's going on? I did not attack them. They attacked me, didn't they? Colonial crisis. Whatever, I don't really care about reading that. Uh, the Oregon Treaty? Okay. Hey, at least we won that battle. Get out of my country. I hope Germany carpet sieges them and just ruins everything they have. To hell with the Russians. Uh, Morocco, no, we gotta take you out later on, so. Oh, head on in, help them out. Ah, furniture! I love furniture. Maybe we can make some more. Man, our army's looking so bad. Furniture-wise, might be good to put it around where we have a lot of wood and already have a, like, a lumber industry. Let's build it here, because there are quite a few Turks here. We have a sawmill. Furniture? Why not? Nice. Oh man, if we could pop out the Ukraine, that'd be so good. I'd love to see that happen. Good job, guys. Good job. They're attacking me again. These guys have like no organization. Or morale, really. Good. Nice. Uh, the Germans are doing a pretty good job so far. You know, they could be doing better. Why are the Germany's military? Where are they? They're fourth in the, they're fourth in the world now. With Russia mobilized, they're third, but still. You... Alright, time to move out then. Keep an eye on these guys. Keep an eye on these guys up too, up here as well. Um, nice. Good. We have that guy over there. Still got those guys over there. Not bad. Twenty percent of our population can read. Got less war exhaustion because we have social Darwinism. Not bad. Ooh, I kind of want to help out down here. Right, who's attacking? So the Russians are attacking. Well, technically, I guess this is this is our Russo-Turkish war. Technically, I suppose. No. Russia, you should have said you should not come into this war. That was a mistake by Russia, and we're going to make sure that they pay for it. I mean, our army isn't very good, I'll be honest, like, it's not very good at all. But, you know what? It's what we got. And the more damage you do to Russia, well, the more rebels we'll hopefully get. Hey! Nikolaev! 
Very nice. That suits our army, of course, but you know what? Whatever. Whatever. No. <laughs> why, why do they want to peace out? Why? They wanted the war. I'm giving them what they want. <laughs> of all places to fight Russia. The Ottoman Empire, of course, is the Germans. We're doing an okay job. Oh, crap. That's not good. Um, get up here. Nice, there you go. He's actually got some pretty good attack on him. Uh, let's be careful what happens here. Come down south if you can. Destroy that little group. Not bad, not bad. Uh, what is the war like now? I'm really hoping that Germany will put in some... Oh, it's the Crimean War. Put in some, like, war goals. Because Russia should be falling. Yep, fifth in the world now. Six, six, that's good. Actually, how's Austria-Hungary? They're sixth? We're still below them? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Japan is slowly catching up too, which is not good. Wait, what happened here? Yes, yeah, so Algeria, if you need to move. What happened to our other. Oh, they threw in even more guys too. Yeah, we might lose this battle, which is not good for us, but whatever. Um, they're focusing on us, which makes sense for them, but. Still. You know what? Come on in. If we lose this... Oh, yeah, we're gonna lose this battle. That sucks. Oh. Yes, on. Very nice. Now, if we could attack them, that'd be nice. They have no cavalry, which is good. They, Not that much artillery, so this, these must be mobilized stacks. Which is good. Ah, oh, see, we lost the Battle of Kiev. It is what it is. They actually lost 41,000 compared to 18,000, but then again, this is Russia. It doesn't matter. Germany, please throw something on here. No. I don't care what it takes. I really don't care what it takes. Russia, you've got to be stamped down. Uh, retreat into here because that army is pretty much destroyed. What happened to Belgium? That's the flag of... Oh, they're conservative? What happened here? They're... Oh, they're Republic! Whoa, that's a different flag. I'm not used to that. Oh, yeah. The French are very aggressive people, aren't they? And we have one army over here just to keep the peace, which is good. Um, we have artillery, huh? There you go, three. One, two. More soldiers. I mean, our budget isn't looking good, obviously, but I'm not too concerned about that right now. Hmm. I should just keep high relations with the French then. Higher relations. Bonapartiste. Pretty nice. We could attack them, but I don't want to attack when they're in the mountains. I would not be very smart. Any industry they have here is going to, well, what they call die. Ah, oh, Germany's doing a great job. I love Germany. Ottomans and Germany. What, what's a better combo? Oh, now they're attacking us here, huh? That sucks. Oh, I spread a little bit too much. I understand. Our, this is mountains, right? Well, oh, it's montane grasslands, but still. Oh, he's got a really good dice roll, that's why. Hmm. Well, this will give him a lot of stuff anyway. So, you know what? We'll just peace out then. I still want to win the battle, so. Minus 55%. Good lord. Can't do that. Offer peace terms? Nope. Cool. And right before the end of the, the month, which is good. So these guys are looking so bad. I'm going to just put, pull both of you guys down here. We'll probably combine with the remains of those armies. Put you right there, and you guys will probably hopefully recover. You guys will go right there, and you guys definitely will recover. Uh, you guys keep one, another guy in, keep him in Romania. And keep another one down here in Alexandria. You guys might be able to recover as well. I think that's it. So... I think we'll have one more little fade in fade out for this episode, so I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright everyone, and right now we are ready to go to war with Serbia to clean up the borders just a little bit. Hopefully this goes okay. Hopefully nothing bad happens, you know. Hopefully Russia doesn't get involved, but you never know. Of course I made sure that they did decrease the relations with the Russians, so 
And we're still pretty friendly with them. Even though we just had Jacobins rebelling. That sucks. Oh well. Oh well, the Serbia isn't too bad to take out. Nice! Let's doing some more soldiers. We actually lost a battle because I'm trying to reform our army a little bit more. And actually, that's why our army score is actually a little bit lower. Right now, we just finished, though, Analytic Philosophy, so we get more research points, which is actually really, really good. But I'm going to do Battleship Column Doctrine so we get some more naval bases, so this way we can pump up our ability to get more Colonial Power Points. So, I thought that was a probably pretty smart move, and that was a really, really fast war. Will they piece us out, maybe? Give them maybe a little bit until the end of the month? No. Okay, they're not. It's fine. Now, this is looking better, but I think that'll end... Today's episode there. If you liked it, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we take out a few more enemies and really try to lower our infamy. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.